All right, everybody, we made it out to the sound. And uh, so if you look here, I'm looking for a hump. There should be a hump that's close by. As soon as I see that hump, I'm, trying to, I'm going to try to go up and, uh, and set an anchor. All right, I don't have a spot lock, so I'm doing this old school manual style. So let's see uh, if we can find it. And I see it's coming up. I think that's it. And I'm gonna throw it into neutral. Yep, that's it. All right, let's go set the anchor. Seeing some marks, let's go. Let's see. Has it caught yet? I don't think it has, because I haven't, I'm still, I feel like I'm still drifting around, so let's see. This is like the not fun part. It's setting this anchor, man. Whenever I set an anchor, I'm gonna be doggone sure that's where I'm gonna be because it is a pain in the neck to kind of lift up. All right, so how do I know if I set my anchor correctly? Well, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit anyway, but uh, I haven't yet, see, because I'm still moving. I'm still moving, right? So let me go back up here and let me try to get this anchor down into the ground somewhere, right? Hadn't caught on anything yet. There we go, yeah, there it is, let's see. I think that's it all right you see well it's going to zero right so now i know that my anchor is set i'm a little bit off my spot but i'll drop some crabs down here just in case it'll oscillate between zero and some small number because i'm bouncing up and down but that's pretty much it right there guys all right let's see what we can do next i got my jig head here and i'm gonna grab a crab again i'm gonna cut off the legs like so and i'm actually just going to cut him in half okay so now i'll take my crab and i'll put it i try to weave it in between one leg socket and out of the other like so and we're going to drop it down and let's see what we can do all right we're down at the bottom and we'll wait minor taps minor taps i'm looking for something more aggressive it's probably smaller porgies trying to take it and I'm ready to set it as soon as I feel like it's time to do so but maybe they have taken my bait because now I'm not getting as many bites They're like little beady vibrations all right I'm gonna put another crab on so I probably got taken uh, pretty much in one leg socket and out of the other I'll leave the shell on it's not really that important uh, but I'll leave it on for now. Maybe it'll help guard from some of the smaller fish that are actually taking me. Watch it. Watch it. There it is. There we go. There we go. There it is. Ooh. My first blackfish, everybody. My very first blackfish. I don't know if it'll keep or not, but we're about to, have to find out. Uh, I don't think so. But hey, that was fun. My first blackfish. All right, here we go. All right, blackfish. Going back down, down the hatch. All right, so it works. Now let's try to get a bigger one. Found a nice little pile, so let's go back down. Oh, shoot. Ugh, another one. Let's see. Uh, about the same size, small. All right, guys, I'm getting the hang of this. Daddy's getting the hang of it. All right, that's what my son would say. <laughs> All right. All right, I think we found a pile. Nice black fish. So it seems like my, you know, my strategy actually works pretty well. Um, everything's kind of holding up, except I kind of botch my real action there but other than that I mean hey this is working so I'm fishing in Long Island Sound uh, in Long Island Sound I believe on both the New York and the Connecticut side the uh, the length is 16 inches and you get to keep three of them I've never actually had one before I hear they're pretty good so I'm really curious on how they taste so that's why I want to catch one and bring one home for the dinner table. 
takes on waiting, waiting for it. So I'm filling the tap, so I need to wait for it to pull. So um, I need to go back to basics. I'm getting a little too excited when I feel the taps. And those are probably just smaller, like porgies or something. I need to wait for the pool. All right. I get excited. It is an art to this. It's not as easy as it looks. Definitely an art to this. Oh, I felt the pool. Uh, that was me. That was on me. Got him. See? I have to go back to basics. Small daddy. Been down here messing with me. But again, I'm just going back to basics, guys. Whew. All right. Now, if we just continue to get small ones, uh, we will move spots. That's number three on the day. Not too shabby for my first time out. The only time even knowing how to do this is watching YouTube videos. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Hopefully you guys can learn something too. I will go a little deeper if I keep running into the babies. I don't want to catch too many small ones. All right, so I'm in 13 feet of water now. I can go down into the 20s, try to find a rock pile into the 20s. Hopefully we get on some bigger fish, but um, just a personal choice. Personal choice. Oh, that was a good one. That was a big bump. All right, there's one. There's something. That, there's one of them down there, guys. Okay, now, now I'm feeling a little bit of hope here. All right. Gosh. Oh, it was a, it's a big one down there, for sure. Let's see if we can get them. All right, my bait's probably destroyed, but oh no. <laughs> I know what's up now. All right, yep, they destroyed my bait. I know what's up now, though. I'm coming to get you. I was just about to leave because I felt like I was putting too much of a hurting on the smaller fish. But now, since you've shown yourself to be made available, I'm coming for you specifically. I'm targeting you, Mr. Big Blackfish. Is that who I wanted? Nope, small daddy. Not a small one, I'm up. All right, All right this one should be released unharmed. If he calms down. Dude, y'all are so slippery, yo. All right, let's see. Their lips are so tough. Jeez, there we go. I don't want these shorts. There's a big one down there. There is a big one down there, team. And I'm gonna try my darndest to get them. There it is. There it is. There it is. I told you. I told you I was gonna get your tail. I told you. All right. Uh -oh. uh. Let's see. But I told you I was coming to get you. Kept playing around with me, man. Slow down, bro. No, no, no. 14. He's got to go back. He's got to go back. Let's go. All right. Was that the big one that we felt? If so, then we'll move. But hey, I feel good about that. That probably was the guy that I was feeling the whole time. And I'm okay with that, man. We uh, we put in work to get his tail. I got an issue here, man. So we're catching fish, but we haven't gotten keeper size yet. Um, I don't think that's atypical, honestly. I think you have to pick through a lot of the shorts. What do you guys think? I was talking to the guys at the dock, and I think it's, a, it's actually a blackfish tournament happening today. And then the radio in, as of now is that it's just been no keepers at least when i left the dock there weren't so i think this is pretty standard for right now but so we're gonna stay here as long as they're biting we'll we'll keep going right and just hopefully we can get at least one keeper fish fully expect for this gopro to die at some point in time <laughs> so in the meantime uh we could just talk about some of the lessons learned there's a lot of technique that's involved in it. Um, I spent a lot of time over the past week just staring at topo maps, right? Just trying to figure out what's the lay of the land. And honestly, as I was uh, even coming from spot to spot on different spots that I had marked, there may have already been a fisherman there. So, you know, it's a good thing to kind of have multiple spots marked so that you can kind of make the appropriate move. 
all in all, I think, you know, I'm very happy with what we've been able to accomplish here today, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate it if you uh, subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. Hit the like button to let me know if you like this type of content. And I'll see you guys on the other side. All right.